Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Select by Location tool as well as using the Count Points and Polygon tool in QGIS. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So there's a couple ways on how to select points within boundaries. And one of the most basic ways is to use this tool right up here where you can select by location. So let's take this big orange boundary right here, which is my just regular boundary layer. So I wanna know how many points are within this boundary. So I could come up here and choose select by location. So select features from and this will be my a point layer that's within my boundary. And if I run that, what it will do is just select all those points within the boundary. And if I go to my points layer here, I could open up the attribute table. At the bottom, I could show just the selected features. So I could see that there's 120 selected features. So that's a very basic, easy way to select within features within a boundary. Now, there's another feature I want to show you guys. So if I deselect my features here, and I duplicated this point layer, it's just random points, and I randomly assigned them four different colors, uh, green, red, yellow, and blue. So, if I come up to layers, or excuse me, vector, analysis tool, count points in polygon. So this is a really interesting tool here because we'll use that same boundary layer and we're using our points with the color. Now we could just get a count like we did with the select by location and I'll just go ahead and do that just to show you. And what this actually does is create a new feature, either temporary or you could save it out. But when you open up the attribute table, it gives you a summary, 120 points. But we could break that down by, let's see, we remove that. And we come back here to vector, analysis tool, count points in polygon. Again, we're using the boundary points. Now the class field, we could give it that this is, these are the, uh, the feature, the fields in my attribute table. I have an ID field, a color, the red, yellow, green, and blue. And then I just assign a color value like one, two, three, four. So if I add the color, as my class field, I could say how many numbers of, or how many groups of colors of colors. Now this is gonna say four, just because this big area is gonna contain all four of those areas. But the next example, see group of colors is four. The next example I wanna show you is it's not going to be four, so just to show you, it'll actually count the number of groups. So, say in this one or right here, this is boundary number four. We just have we just have red and blue, so this should be two. So these are kind of useful ways just to kind of categorize uh, your data that's within a particular boundary. So let's go and run this. So I'm going to come up here to vector analysis tool count points in polygon and this time it's going to be boundary four that little one up on top my point layer and so i want to know how many classes classes of color now i don't need to rename that field every time but it just kind of helps to clarify what i'm doing so if i run that and my new feature class here and I open up the attribute table it says two so that is correct 
just to show you again, we just have red and blue. Those are the two color classes within that boundary. Now another thing that this tool here, the uh, count points in polygon tool will do, it'll also sum, uh, sum up the, the values within that boundary. So I could use this one again. Um, and just to summarize those values real quick before, so we could confirm the tools calculating correctly. Um, I'm just going to select these guys here. Oops. I need to click on to the feature there. Okay, so let's select these guys. So there's four points. Oop up the attribute table and show just the selected features. So at 3, 6, 9, 10. So the color values total will be 10. Again, these are just random um, like data, just, just to kind of show you guys how this is being used. So deselect. And I come back up here to Vector Analysis Tool, Count Points and Polygon. So the polygon will be boundary four, my point color layer, and the weighted will be the color value. So I can see something like total color values. And again, it should be 10. Attribute table and total color value is 10. So these are just a couple ways just to help you guys um, kind of determine what points are within a particular boundary, how you can summarize the number of um, the, the total number of the value and the, the number of categories. So in my case, I have four colors. I was able to know how, what the number of categories within a boundary, you know, the total value within the boundary and the count. So Hope that helps you guys and as always if you guys have any questions please leave a comment down below if you're new to the channel welcome um, i put out a new video every week so please subscribe so you don't miss a uh, um, when i do publish out that video and um, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time